Hi everybody, I'm Braden from EG4, and I'm here today to talk to you about our newest product, the EG4 MPPT 100-48HV. This solar charge controller is the perfect expansion unit to add to your solar system as it is high voltage and high efficiency. This MPPT has an operating voltage of 450 and a maximum voltage of 500, which means you can series more panels together, resulting in a lower voltage drop in your system and higher efficiency overall. Higher voltage also means that you need less amperage to push the same amount of power in your system, which results in smaller, cheaper wires safely and successfully. This has a 22 amp maximum input so that you have the flexibility for paralleling low amperage solar panels together. It also has a 5500 watt max for solar, so you can get up to 20 to 25 kilowatt hours a day of extra energy production in your solar system. The need for expansion can be attributed to many factors, such as additional appliances being added to your loads, solar panel degradation on an old array, or maybe you didn't start with enough solar on your system initially. This MPPT allows you to expand on your array without having to mess with your pre-existing panels, but it can also be a great PV system starter if you plan on using an inverter without built-in MPPT features. Now let's take a look at some of our MPPT's features wired into this four panel solar array. The EG4 MPPT has a super simple setup and implementation. All you need to do is plug in your battery cables here, your PV cables here, and you're good to go. You can also plug in an RS45 cable to port with your batteries for a closed loop communicated system if you don't otherwise have communication with your inverter. So now that we have the MPPT lit up, we have four solar panels wired into it. We can see that it starts by showing the voltage of the panel array and the voltage that it's charging your batteries at. If you press down, you can cycle through, see the amperage that you're getting from your panels, the amperage it's charging the batteries at, and then finally, it'll tell you the total wattage that you're getting charged from. Now these solar panels are in a pretty dark climate right now. I think we are getting about 100 watt meters squared, uh, not to mention that there's a lot of equipment in front of them, so you're not getting a whole lot out of the array right now, but regardless, it is still charging. You wanna make sure that your panel voltage is above 120 to start the MPPT up. Should also be noted that the MPPT has a rating of IP21, so it is meant to be mounted indoors uh, and climate controlled as preferred, but it's best to keep it out of the elements. Thank you for tuning in to our MPPT 100-48HV product spotlight. If you enjoyed hearing about our products, please leave a comment below and like the video. I'm Braden from EG4 and I'll see you next time.